have a quick opportunity to look at the bivy. Um, it's the Avid Carp Dual Layer. Uh, it's very nice. Let's have a look at it and I'll tell you all about it. Right. Well, basically what you've got is this is a 20,000 hydrostatic head. It's not a green colour. It's not the camel colour. But if you look, I don't know if you can see that very well. But you've got like a hexagon. Or honeycomb, as you call it, and it's a it's kind of a brownie car, which is a little bit different to the normal. Naturally, as an avid carp, they have these on here, and after you've got one the other side, and uh, yeah, so far it's pretty good. I've got the backup at the minute, but we'll talk about that in a, in a second or two. Uh, yeah, it's, it's very nice. I actually quite like it. It was a bit of a I wouldn't say I struggle putting up, but it is just like putting up an ordinary bivy anyway. Um, and what I mean by that is how it all goes together. Just put it back on the tripod. How it all goes together is basically a bivy function. You've obviously got uh, have a look. just trying to see how many rigs we got. You obviously got one joint there, one in the middle, and one there. And then obviously vice versa for the other ones. Put it together, it's fairly easy. It's just putting up a bivy basically. So once you put the things, fan out your wash name, uh, your legs, and then just clip it together. That's normal, traditional, and all the points. And how I've done it is you've also got two two tension straps, which we just go around to the front here. Obviously, from one to there, and obviously one behind it. The second one you've got a yellow tab on it or a bit of velcro and that goes to the opposite one sort of your side there with the yellow one so obviously you get yellow to yellow and the front is just pretty much self-explanatory. Putting it up is like I said just like a bivy. Um, you fan it out, you put your things in, do your tension straps at the front and how you want to do it at the back here, so how you normally do a bivy, you can either peg it down, put the pole in then put the top pole in so it's all pushing forward uh, or you can put the pole in first and peg it down it's up to you how you want to do it me, I think I just put the pole in then I pegged around the back I haven't quite done it right because I have just in here and this little thing is you've got like a little I don't know if you can see that hit my little pole I think that should have gone underneath that and that should be about there but that's my doing for doing it quickly Apart from that, it's fairly straightforward to be honest with you. Um, you've got the extra pearls there which I'm not used to and these ones here as well which I'm not used to but get in there. Inside, now this is the good bit because I just have to take you off the tripod. Inside we have, as you can see, my bed is fairly pushed to the back. I've got a gap at the back there. So it's basically all my clob is behind there by the way. And you've got a ton of headroom. So you've got a flat bag. That can be pushed as far back as you can get it. Which gives you an absolute ton of space. I mean I've got a big old gap down there. Which I don't normally have. And I've got a gap behind here as well. Which I don't normally have. So overall it's pretty good. This is an option if you don't have to have it in, but you can if you want. I have chosen to, because I think it just adds a bit of extra um, there to it, and it keeps you warmer. And cool and obviously won't eliminate, but helps with a lot with the condensation. Now, <laughs> the fun bit is, when I put this up, I don't know how well the pan's going to pick it up. This. Get a bit of view. This is obviously separate. I had to put this in myself. Now the easiest way I found to do is if when it's all and I'll wrap this back here because I want the airflow through here, but you can have it down, it's up to you. Um, I start from the front, so I put down where the door is. Because it's locking another door, you can zip this down if you want to. Okay, I'll just put mine up out of the way. Uh, and I start from the bottom, I found the, the door, pegged in, pegged in down there. 
and then I went up and pegged up top. So I then sort of worked my way around, which was actually quite nice. Um, quite easy, sorry, it's really quite nice, quite easy to do. Once you get a pan, you're laughing. And everything just falls into place because then the whole back, and this is all because at the back of it, I did start at the back and I struggled because it's got this little doorway here toggle up top and then it didn't quite fit so I thought well bugger it, I'll give it the front so that is exactly what I've done above that, once you've got this in it's quite easy because uh, what I have noticed, unlike most things you normally get these little plastic toggles if I can just find one you normally get them all the way around, yeah? See me right there. You don't with these on here. You get this, which is like a little bit of uh, flat coming down, and each one has a steel loop to put your thing through. No way around. So you know when you're going wrong because obviously everything's in a line. That's like that all over the, the up the sides, up the back, but it's just the bottom. Obviously, you've got the little plastic toggles. Now, in all honesty, what do I think of it? Yeah, I like it. It's 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 big. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, like I said, I've got loads of space. I mean, I've got all this down here. I mean, I don't usually have that much space down. Sorry, that much space down there. So yeah, I think it's pretty good. It's a bit to put up. Yeah. The other key feature as well. So you just put your put your back on the pod, then come back. And this is the bit I like. You've probably seen this before. I'm going to show you again anyway. Under here. So you can flow that down if you want. Also as well, you've then got your mesh. Put that down as well. You then got your inner lay. And again, Zip that down, and you've got a clear bit. Now you can unzip that from inside, outside, and inside as well. So that's a nifty little thing. So if you are warm, you don't want to take the whole back down. You just want a breeze to go through. You've got a perfectly good natural breeze. Nothing to stop it. Just straight through. Brilliant. Pull out a fish then. Yeah, so you can do it from inside and out. Guarantee get no water in there as well. The back bit, this is the good bit, this is the bit I'm impressed with. And as you see, zip right down. That can go right to the floor. Have. Somewhere. Mm -hmm. Something a bit like that. Now, how is that for keeping you cool in the summertime? How cool is that? Literally, you will be cool. The front can do the same. You can take it off completely and just have the, have the, the side frame. 
front you can do the same so you can have an absolute 100% airflow all the way through now that's pretty damn nifty in my eyes but yeah <laughs> crack on with that right let's get the back up it really is up to you but whatever happens if it's a real boy baking hot day boring your ass off you have a airflow through there like no one like no other place Pretty awesome. Naturally, you've got your rod retainers on there. Put your rods on. Uh, so, if you've got your three rods up there, what you can do as well, you've got your little straps there as well. Then, what you can do, your rods up there, get all that club of sword out, take one rod off, and bang, hey presto, nothing's in your way, you're not clogged up. Never had that on a baby before. I know it's an average thing, but it's a handy little device. I was using my first come down, so I've got to put the buzz bars out, so I had to get them out sword. Brilliant. You don't have two rods up there and one on the other side, and you get all clogged up. Stick them on there, job done. Same on the other side, to show, obviously, because then that way, what you can do with that as well, rods are over there, sport marker, or whatever you want to put over there. How about that? It's not bad. So yeah, am I impressed with it? Absolutely. And doesn't leak. <laughs> Unlike I had before. So yep, yeah, all good, all singing, all dancing at the minute. Very very happy. Very very spacious inside. So yeah, and you can not adapt it to how you want it. Because like I said before, these little things in here, they can cut off took mine out of the way for the time being. Then you come down, so you can take this out and just have that down instead. Or you can do what I've done there and have a lot of that. Brilliant. Fantastic bit of kit so far. Very, very impressed. And uh, that's what it is. That's my first David Carp bivy. Top banana. Yeah. Hope it's been kind of helpful. Any questions, please drop one with the link the comments down below. We'll get from that. Speak in a bit.